I got some mail. Okay, here's the deal. I wanna show y'all this, but first, I need to make myself a coffee and I wanna tell y'all a story. Wrap me in your arms. I can feel it burn. Here's the thing. To really understand why I'm so excited about this package that I got today, you need to know a couple things. Pro tip, if you're ever on the phone and you're making a pour over, be careful because that sound, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Can you hear that? Definitely sounds like you're just peeing on the phone. Learn that the hard way. So yeah, first off, to understand why I'm so excited about this package, you need to know two things about me. First, um, after about five years of living in a loft downtown, Kate and I moved into uh, a new house, the house that I'm in right now. The second thing that you need to know is that in March of 2020, Kate and I and some of our best friends had a trip planned to Iceland. Just in case you didn't catch that date, that was March of 2020. We had to cancel that trip because of COVID and the pandemic. What we went ahead and did is we just kicked that out a year from now. So we were planning on going in March of 2021. Then we still weren't able to go to Iceland. The country was still locked down, shut down. We totally understood, right? There's a global pandemic happening. I guess there are more important things going on than our vacations, apparently. So we had to kick that back to October of 2021. Uh, and at this point, I was just refusing to get my hopes up. I think we were literally off the airplane, walking through customs, getting our passports checked, and Rob was like, dude, this is it, we're here, we made it. And I was like, no sir, not till I get through customs. We got through customs, we set foot on Icelandic soil, uh, and we had an unbelievable trip. Now here's the thing, when we planned that first trip in 2020, oh, this smells so good, you guys. I had so many plans for content. We actually, on this past trip that we took, uh, rented a sprinter van that sleeps five and we slept five in it for about a week. So when this trip was supposed to happen in March, I had so much um, content planned, right? Hey, here's what it's like to live in a van for a week in Iceland. Just fun things to try to make the trip a little bit more exciting and to create some exciting content. That's so good. I feel a little far from y'all. This is way better. So yeah, I have to be honest, as the trip got even closer, I was a little distracted, a little disheartened, a little confused. Because all those plans for all that content that we were gonna make while we were out there just seemed unbelievably uninteresting to me anymore. Right before we left for our trip, um, Kate and I were walking around the room that I'm currently sitting in. This is a dining room. It's kind of a sitting room. There's a lot that you can't see right now. You will notice, these three empty frames behind us. We had the hardest time figuring out what to do on this wall. We found some frames that we liked, and by liked, I mean could afford. And we had a dinner party like coming up that weekend, so we just hung them up empty and left them there. I've actually done my best to try to convince friends that these are those uh, pictures that you look at and you kind of have to stare, kind of cross your eyes and stare through them and then the image pops out at you, but uh, I haven't fooled anyone yet. So Kate was like, you know what we should do is just print up some pictures that you've taken on one of our trips. Surely there's some pictures that we could print out and post for these frames. And as we started to look through those, I realized, okay, so for the last three or four years, all of our travels, everything that we've done, all of the content was being created with the sole purpose of sharing those images on social media. And so Kate wasn't really big on the idea of printing out some really large pictures of her like posing in front of a temple in Japan or something like that, or us sipping our coffee. Like you don't wanna look at yourself, but it made me realize that in all of these trips that we've taken, I haven't hardly taken a single picture that was just taken for me. What's that saying? Like if a tree falls in a forest and no one's there to listen it, did it really fall or whatever? I'm probably botching that, but I'm left with that feeling of like, well, if I don't have a montage video from Iceland, did I actually go to Iceland? And the answer is hell yes, we went to Iceland. We have dozens of memories from this past trip alone that you will never see. Memories of us uh, cracking up hysterically on the floor of a van while we try to cook some noodles and get some sleep. All right, friends, I just thought I would show y'all since we We'll be posting glamorous Iceland photos all week. Instagram versus reality. How spacious does the van feel, y'all? So spacious. I said it was gonna be good. 
I said you were doing great. Well, then I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 we're tired and we're cold and we're wet and we're jet lagged, but there's literally nowhere else in the world we would rather be than in a van in the middle of this beautiful country. And I'm beginning to realize that I have undervalued those moments and those memories on every other trip I've ever taken. I think what I'm saying is there's absolutely nothing wrong with creating content that is captured and created with the intent of sharing it. But I was dangerously close to making this last trip that we took 100% about the content that we were creating there and completely letting the memories that we should be creating while we're there pass me by. So this was fun for me. I went into this trip with the sole purpose of having fun with my friends and hopefully coming home with three images that I've taken for me. Three images that when anyone is welcomed into this house, I can show them to them and go, oh yeah, let me tell you about this incredible trip that we had and make a personal connection with them right now without worrying about whether or not they smashed the like button. By the way, if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, smash that like button. I'm gonna go mount these pictures. I haven't even seen them myself, so for all I know, they look like garbage and this video might never get seen. So let's go do that. Get up, get down. Get up, get down. Feel the turtle station. Stop. Hey. Get up, get down. Get up, get down. These are looking pretty dope. Wow. I am so happy with these. Let's get them in the frames. And then I'll show them to you guys. Cinnamon to sing with the pair of feet change. I love these pictures. Super happy with how they came out. I know there's a crazy glare behind me, but I'll, I'll do some cutaway shots here so that y'all can see them more clearly. This church over here to your left is 100% um, the inspiration but behind the type of house we wanted to live in. And it's a church uh, right on the cusp of, a, of one of the Western peninsulas in Iceland that was painted all black with white trim. And so we actually bought a 110 year old craftsman style house in the heart of Oak Cliff, painted the whole thing black with white trim. Our neighbors hate it and we don't care. This picture over here on my right is a shot of the famous plane wreck on the black sand beaches. This last time that we went, there was a solid 10 to 15 minute window where it was literally just us at this site. There were no other tourists. And so I was able to snap the picture that I wish I'd gotten last time, which is this beautiful solitary picture of this stunning uh, plane wreck in the middle of Iceland. And then right behind me is uh, a picture that our friend L'Oreal actually snapped for us since uh, it's of Kate and I. This is uh, an incredible little natural formation, a land bridge that you can't even really see when you're walking around. You kind of have to climb down to get this angle where you can see kind of the, the rock formation and how wild this is. But um, our friend Victoria found this spot on our first trip to Iceland. And this last time we were like, man, we really want to go back and get just a stunning black and white portrait of that. Because these, uh, these, these land bridges are collapsing all over the island and all over that kind of region, that area in the world. You, you see these once and they kind of let you know, hey, you can walk across this at your own uh, risk. But eventually, one day, someone is gonna be the last person to walk across. It's a really special place to us and uh, I was super grateful to L'Oreal for snapping that picture on my camera so that we could have that memory. Uh, here's the deal. Thank you to all of you guys who watch these videos. It really does mean the world to have uh, people that I can share my thoughts and my feelings and all of the crazy cool shots that we are able to get with. Uh, and, and by no means do I have any intention of no longer creating content to share with the internet and everything like that. But I am trying really hard to get back to a place where I'm living my life for myself and periodically sharing that with people who are interested instead of um, just doing things so that I have something to post, you know? So that being said, uh, from this past trip, I am left with a lot of footage that I really don't have a plan with other than to be able to look back on it and hopefully be filled with that same sense of just awe and wonder that I had when we were actually in those places. So I'll share a little montage of those shots with you guys now. And I'm gonna go drink my coffee that is probably cold. See you guys.